This is the aftermath of an Islamic State attack on a Kurdish village in northern Iraq. In its wake, more than a dozen people are dead. Among those killed, three brothers who lived together in this concrete house. We didn't harm anyone. My sons didn't infringe on anybody's space. IS encroached on our land. My sons were defending themselves. They fought down to the last bullet. The attack happened Thursday night in the villages of Khidrjija and Lihaban. Experts say Islamic State is reconstituting in this region in part because a lack of collaboration between Iraqi and Kurdish forces has created a security gap in the so-called disputed regions where the villages are located. Iraqi Kurdish President Nechirvan Barzani on Friday called on both sides to take immediate actions to optimize coordination. Locals say several Islamic State fighters quietly entered the area. They were around 20 fighters. I saw two of them over there. The others snuck in and entered my dad's house. They came at around 9 p.m., catching us off guard. We fought until around 10 p.m. We would not have known about them were it not for the dogs barking. Villagers in Kurdistan say they need stronger security from Iraqi and Kurdish Peshmerga soldiers. ISIS is about half an hour drive from us. They are on the other side of this mountain. A funeral for those killed in the attack is being held at the village mosque. Locals say they fear another IS return and the loss of more loved ones as they wait for Iraqi and Kurdish forces to work together to defend them. For Ahmad Zabari in Mahmoud, Iraq, Namu Abdullah, VOA News.